open these doors. You want to hand my guy Lulu the chase? Thank you so much for having me. Uh, this is a huge honor. So thank you very much for my family and yours. Thank you so much. What's your name, DJ? <laughs> Let's give a big round of applause for our DJ. So good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, the energy is amazing out here. Um, my name is Trish Christensen. I'm the president and CEO of the Modesto Chamber of Commerce. And we have been excited for this moment. We, we kind of are down a building and on the other side, so we've been watching this. Um, I've had plenty of moments to be in the building when it's been other things, in, for all good reasons, but you know, I, I set up volunteer groups and whatnot in here for cleaning up after events, and so seeing it turn into this is beautiful. So what this does for our community is it fills a gap. I was thinking about what this is bringing to our community for children, which is where everyone starts in their thoughts on this. But really being someone that was from the Bay Area, I've been here 35 years, and I have children, and we did road trips, and our community, countywide, is doing so much work to show the good happening in our community. The reasons to come visit our community, to do the awesome, the Alma Blossom when Visit Modesto is promoting it, to come out when the graffiti festival is going on, or to visit the graffiti museum. Where's the stop? for the families that have kids that just gotta get out of the car. It's now here. This is amazing. So let's give that a big round of applause. All right, so I would like to introduce Chelsea. Hello, everyone. Wow, this is such a huge day, um, not just for Modesto, but for the entire Central Valley. Children in the Central Valley de deserve world class experiences. And that is what they have here at Modesto Children's Museum. So, today is going to be our very first day. We're going to both cut our ribbon for our large door. But you can see here, we'll be having children cut our ribbon for the little door here in a little while. Because this space was made intentionally for children. And the thing that is so unique about this, this building in general, is that it was built by this community for this community. So thank you to every person who passed out a flyer, sent an email, donated five bucks, showed up, told someone about this experience, because without you, this wouldn't have happened. But very especially without this board of, of directors, uh, this, this idea, this very little idea that just started with a few people would have never turned into this bright, beautiful, colorful building. So I would love it if you all could give a round of applause to each of our board of directors. I'm going to name them individually. I actually wrote down their names so that I did not forget a single one of them because they're all very important to me. Uh, first and foremost, Katie Barber. She's not holding scissors yet. I did not call out the fact that 
the talking things that were said to us, I sort of chuckled because it says opened in 2019, and it really should say established. The concept launched in 2019 officially, and look at the time and effort it's taken to bring this to life in this way. So you guys have accomplished much, and we're all very happy to be here to celebrate this month with you. So we're going to make some presentations. Um, can we move you to this side? Thank you. All right, we're going to start right here with Hey, good morning, everyone. Last time, last time I was here, it was a ribbon cutting for a coffee shop. But this is way more fun and it's way more colorful. And again, I just want to say hats off to the board. I don't think I've ever seen a project come from visual and getting the concept and then coming to fruition as fast as this project. We had a little issue, worldwide issue in 2020, and even overcame that and got it done so expeditiously. It doesn't get done without the partnerships that all of you have built with government, philanthropy, but most importantly, the community. So seeing this project come to uh, fruition is an honor. I know it's going to be something that downtown Modesto, but not only downtown Modesto, Stanislaus County, the Central Valley region are all going to benefit, and especially our children. When people come into Modesto or Stanislaus County and say, there's not much to do for our children, well, you guys have changed that. behalf of the Board of Supervisors to congratulate the Board of the Modesto Children Museum on this ribbon cutting on the 28th day of September 2023. I know the emphasis is utilization for all this for the kids, but I got kids on that slide. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. If you want to be entertained, go to the website and look at the Modesto Children's Museum. Uh, I turned 70 in January, and I wish I were three years old. <laughs> There's so many things aside there that are meant to get the children activated, get them motivated, get them interested. Because if you don't get the children interested when they're young, unfortunately, they uh, they seem to just wing them to the side. We want to have children that are motivated and realize what a big part of this committee and this community they are. And I also like the fact that what you've done, uh, the admission price is reasonable, but what you've done for the SNAP families, I think it's extremely essential because everybody needs to come and visit and be able to afford this. And so, what I'd just like to say is, number one, thank you and congratulations to all of you. But on behalf of Congressman Thomas Lincoln, I have a certificate of special congressional recognition. And some of the words are going to seem familiar because I took them from your website. <laughs> Plagiarism works every time it's tried. <laughs> so again, certificate of special congressional recognition presented to Modesto Children's Museum in recognition of the ribbon cutting ceremony, your commitment to being a beacon of creativity, curiosity, and lifelong learning for the children of the Central Valley is to be commended. I'm honored to commemorate and celebrate this momentous occasion. September 28, 2023, signed by Congressman Tom McClintock, member of Congress, with this graduation. Thank you, buddy, everybody for being here. This is truly an amazing day and an honor to be with you on this special day. Growing up, as the, I'm from Stockton, we have the Stockton Children's Museum there. I loved it. I begged my mom every weekend to go there, take me there, play with the fire trucks, the police cars, the grocery store, everything that was there. And it was a great, great time. And it's great to see that here in the city of Modesto and San Jose County, because it is very much needed. Uh, and on behalf of Congressman John DeWarte, I'm proud to present a special congressional recognition Thank you guys so much for choosing the city of Modesto and San Jose County. This is going to be here forever for the community, for the children, and we're so happy to have you. Congratulations.
Line on him up. All right, and Jacob, the Senator Alvarado Gill's office. Good morning, everyone. It's great to be here on behalf of Senator Maria Alvarado Gill in the California State Senate. I'd just like to congratulate the Modesto Children's Museum on the grand opening, on your ribbon cutting. Thank you for uh, what you're going to do for our community, for our community's children. I know they're going to learn a lot of great things here, and I'm uh, really looking forward to seeing what you guys have going on inside. And uh, just again, thank you so much for what you do for uh, children's education and uh, for expanding the creativity and uh, you know science and, and uh, art. So thank you so much. Congratulations. office. And on behalf of Assemblyman Juan Alanis's office, we want to congratulate you on your grand opening and ribbon cutting. Um, we really appreciate your support and dedication to the community, and we know this is going to be fantastic for our children here in Stanislaus County. So, um, congratulations. And Mayor Zwollin, please join us. Thank you, Trish. This is truly a glorious day in our city. At one point, I received a message that this little door would be here for the children. And I immediately got in my car and drove by, and I thought, this is what it's all about. This museum is for our children. If we for this little beautiful girl that's already tired of listening to, to all of us speak, right? Get on with it. This is, this is for you. This is for you. And if everyone here today in our community made Modesto a place where children are the primary focus, they're kept safe, they are loved, they are nurtured, they are developed, they are given opportunities like the Modesto Children's Museum to have a br bright and vibrant life. That is what our community is about. Honestly, I wish every business in Modesto had a door <laughs> just like this. That would send a strong message that our city cares about our children, they are our top priority, we will cherish them and nurture them, and help them be the best that they can be. I have six children myself that are grown and 13 grandchildren, and I'm looking forward to having each one of them enjoy the beautiful museum along with all the residents in our, in our beautiful city. Thank you all for being here today. I have a certificate, and I would like to ask my council members, uh, Jeremiah Williams and uh, Council Member Rosa Escutia Brayton to join me for the certificate. Congratulations presented to the Modesto Children's Museum on this day of September 28, 2023. On behalf of the Modesto City Council, I extend our congratulations on the grand opening of the Modesto Children's Museum. Thank you for being a catalyst for the educational and experiential enrichment of the children of our community. I wish you all the best for continued success. And this is for you. She's one of my board of directors, so she would like to do the certificate presentation today. Dejanine. Good morning, everyone. It's morning. such a pleasure to be here today to welcome another um, wonderful business to the city of Modesto. 
And what I'd really like to emphasize is the idea of how much we really do love our community, we love our children, and we want to get involved. And I'd like to give a special thank you to this board because I understand the time that it takes and the dedication that it takes to make sure that children have a wonderful place to come, to learn, to explore, to give. And on behalf of the chamber, I just want to say that I love to see all the faces here. I love to see the enjoyment. And I'm so happy that I'll have my children, my grandchildren to be a part of this wonderful experience. I hope to see you for the next 200 years. <laughs> Cheers to that. So before I completely wrap this up, I wanted to bring their mission statement out as a way to close the loop on the direction and the vision and the, the love for our community through children. The Modesto Children's Museum enriches the lives of all children by nurturing creativity, critical thinking, and a love for lifelong learning. This is open and available to all the children across our county, up and down the valley, anyone who wants to drive here instead of Stockton on a weekend to come visit a children's museum gets to have a place. The doors are open regardless of walk of life. Bring your families out and engage and lift our children up. They are the future of our community. Um, congratulations on opening with already 19 employees. You've grown a lot. You are ready to serve. All right. So it is my honor and privilege to present you with your plaque. Welcome to the Master Chamber of Commerce family and our community. I look forward to working with you in the future. was tired of listening to me. <laughs> uh, so we're going to try and uh, orchestrate a couple of things right here. So if the crowd would be patient with us, you're invited into the last piece of this. So we're going to start with a ribbon cutting photo. We're going to stage it with your group and anyone else you want to add in from your team, however you'd like that to look. Then we're going to do the cutting ribbon and then we're going to do the community photo. Okay. Uh, my team, can we have the scissors in the room, please? Close to me, Kevin, just a bit more. Okay, everyone, 
Here's your one shot to take your best photo. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so we're going to attempt a really big lift right now. This group, as you are, come all the way out here, please. We're going to stop around here. We're going to bring... We're going to just do big photo. Yes. The rest of the audience, if you'd like to be in the photo, please wrap around the group. We may need a photographer or two to cross the street. Any children here? Come right in front. Does she want to join the picture? Does she want to come in? Alright everyone. Nice big smile. Hey, someone out there and has to do the yelling. One, two, three. Nice big smiles. One, two, and three. Celebration smile! One, two, Awesome. All right. Marty. Marty, can you get us up there on a countdown? Everyone look up. Count us down. One, two, three. All right. God willing, one day I'll have grandchildren to come here and explore in a whole different way, but doors are open, come on in.